beans hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves welcome to my self-care routine something i really want to be intentional with this year is my self-care and as a coffee beans you may be like girl as a self-care princess haven't you always been intentional with your self-care but life comes at you hard and life comes at you fast so it's so easy to say you're going to be intentional about something or think you're intentional about something and then you ask yourself when was the last time i put on a face mask when was the last time i ran myself a nice warm bath when was the last time i just sat down and woosad with a glass of wine you know so i want to be more intentional and actually set out time to just pour back into self equip myself to have a greater week ahead so this time around it started with me getting myself a beautiful bouquet of flowers from woolworths and i was just trimming them and putting them into the vase i really love how my arrangement came out because i usually cut them too short and then they just look weird but then afterwards something which i'm so excited to share is that your girl has been dabbling into yoga i'm saying dabbling because you guys will see how shaky my form is but it's something i really just recently started it's nothing which i've been doing i do my yoga in the comfort of my own home and my instructor is a good friend i met in kenya i really Diana Elizabeth, she was part of the American YouTube Black class of 2023. She has a faith-based Pilates yoga and meditation channel, which I absolutely love. I clearly picked a difficulty level that was not for me. And I was like, girl, Ariana, you have me falling here. <laughs> But she shows so much grace and she keeps reassuring you in her videos like if you're wobbling if you're falling it's okay so i really really love that but anyways time for my shot i am having a um, the mother shot which has strawberry blueberry and apple cider vinegar inside i've really been loving these shots as of late everybody's asking me carissa what are the benefits and trust me bestie i know as much as you do i literally just take these because they make me feel like i'm that girl period so now that i've given myself my flowers literally and yoga's done it's now time for mental self-care it's a new year and i know this is a time where a lot of us really want to get intentional about our goals something i want to be intentional with this year is my time being disciplined with it, overcoming procrastination, and to really have courage to take over the things I can control in a day while still being at peace with whatever is out of my control for that day. I found that therapy can really help you achieve a lot of your goals, helping you manage stress, helping you to give yourself grace over things you can control, or they can even help you create smart goals specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound that can set you up for a happier healthier life and with that i'm happy to announce better help as a sponsor of today's video better help makes starting therapy easier and much less intimidating for a lot of people as it lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call video chat or even messaging you get to pick whatever is more comfortable for you Click the link in the description box below to get started on your therapy journey with 10% of your first month. As you sign up, you will see that BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a much wider range of expertise than what may be available in your city. To get started, you will fill out a questionnaire that will ask you questions about what challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like and then better help can match you with a therapist in most cases you'll be matched within 48 hours you can schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you and my favorite part is if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit you can switch therapists with the click of a button in your settings at no additional cost Join over 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash coffee no milk. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Now that therapy is done, we all know it's not a coffee no milk self-care video unless we're journaling, period. So I bring out my journal and today I'm using the Moments in Prayer prayer journal by Karen Stubbs. I absolutely love this journal because 
a question I get asked a lot is how I journal. So personally, it comes so easy for me because I have a hundred thoughts per minute. So give me a blank page and I'm sorted. But I know for some people it's very difficult and they need guidance, they need prompts. So this journal is perfect because it is set up for 52 weeks. That means a whole year. And in each week, there's four pages full of reflections, gratitude prompts and questions that are faith-based to help tickle your mind a bit and get you thinking that best believe once you open the book you'll have so many things to just dump onto that page and I really really love how cute and aesthetically pleasing my journal is as well so once we're done with journaling it's time to hop into the shower and if you know you already know the shower mandatories playlist check candle check and now that your girl has hair or whatever um i actually get to put my hair up i'm just putting it up into a bun i really love this silk head scarf that i got from Diskim. it's actually by Cantu. like who knew that Cantu is also making head scarves now shout out to them so for today's shower, I grabbed my Dettol Cool Body Wash, which I am screaming about, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But together with that, I grabbed my Clean Logic Exfoliating Stretch Cloth. If you know, you know. But then if you're a new coffee bean, I swear by the stretch cloth. It's a shower accessory, and I love it so much because it is more abrasive compared to your regular washing rag or loofah. And I love how it's engineered in such a way that it's so easy for you to reach your bag when you're cleansing and it lathers so well but circling back to the dental cool body wash you know when you have something that you loved as a child as a teenager and then you completely forgot about it and then you see it in the store again and you have like such a nostalgic moment that's me with this body wash i love this body wash so 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 much hands down the best body wash i've ever used in my entire life like this thing makes you leave the shower feeling like someone literally sanitized you like it doesn't get cleaner than this and guys i'm not saying just to say y'all need to go and try this especially if it's after gym or you're someone with a job that's very physically demanding or you just live in a very hot climate like i actually discovered this body wash at my best friend's house so every time i use it it makes me think of her but then i discovered it at my best friend's house in botswana and you guys know how hot botswana is so it literally felt like a manna from heaven so once i'm done with that body wash i then go in with the sonic zero because the little cool body wash is very pepperminty very very pepperminty so i wouldn't suggest you using her anywhere near your inner thighs anywhere near your booty so i quickly use my sanix zero just to get those ends together and then i also use my sanix zero as a shaving cream i know people usually use conditioner and other things but then i just love how simple the formula of the sanix zero body wash is so i feel like for my sensitive underarms it's the best thing i can use to shave to exfoliate i'm using an all-time fave the Woolworths vanilla patchouli body scrub i really love this body scrub because it's oil based so every time i rinse her off i'm left with this nice shiny glow and i also just love that vanilla smell because the peppermint smell is a very hard smell to work with the one from the detail but i feel like this vanilla body scrub is not very overpowering like the standard beauty strawberry body scrub which really smells of strawberry this one is not as strong so you still get those peppermint notes once you're out of the shower another question i get a lot is around the razor bumps and ingrown hairs that come with shaving and waxing besties exfoliation is the name of the game before shaving and waxing after shaving and waxing exfoliate and in the spirit of exfoliation i'm scrubbing my feet here because i have a foot mask waiting for me after my shower and the foot mask i used today was by woolworths it's not one of those that peel your feet i prefer to get my foot peels done professionally at sorbet so this one is solely just to soothe tired and sore feet to hydrate your feet and also to deal with any odor around your feet i really love how big the sock sock thingy thingy is like it is so cute makes me feel like a little toddler playing with someone's big shoes
Once my feet are soaking in the mask, it's now time to moisturize and today I am using the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I love to use this cream in conjunction with the Dettol Cool Body Wash because it is a fragrance-free cream and I feel like if I used anything else like the Vaseline one or any of the others you guys have seen me use the body shop those have different scents of their own so using a neutral body cream just helps me to still have that peppermint scent lingering around my body and i pair that with the magnolia oil but then since it was at night i didn't use a lot because i don't want my sheets to get stained so on top i did go overboard though like i'm looking at myself now and i'm like girl you were shining but you'll see on my legs that i didn't use a lot of the oil i actually don't even use oil that often at night i think today i was just feeling myself for you guys and i'm like hey let's use the oil now it's time for another self-care day fave my skincare routine so on self-care days obviously we take it up a notch it's not just the usual everyday skincare routine you get me period so after cleansing with my favorite cleanser which you guys already know the CeraVe foaming cleanser i then went in with this brightening under eye mask by Woolworths. it was actually my first time trying it out and i really loved it i just i'm more of an eye cream girly so i do have an eye cream this was just me being extra because as the soft care princess extra is my middle name and i then went in with this poor clay mask and i didn't really show a lot of my serums and steps in this routine because i have a very dedicated very well thought out God. skincare routine coming to you guys sooner than you think i've heard the cries i've seen the dms i've seen the threats i've seen the bullying my skincare routine is coming besties but for now it's just me moisturizing with god knows what and using god knows whichever serums and once my skincare routine is done and i'm looking like a glazed donut it's time for us to get changed so on self-care days i am always pulling out my silk pajamas every girly has to have a set of silk pajamas in her closet like it's not a time to be wearing a random varsity t-shirt it's not a time to be wearing a free t-shirt you got at a sponsored walk self-care days you're supposed to feel like the princess that you are so get you a nice silk set of pajamas and i use this body mist from the body shop the blissful strawberry body mist your body mists aren't very strong so that's why i don't really mind using them at night as opposed to like using a perfume which i do sometimes do let me not even lie like guys my life is just extraness upon extraness i mean why are we even popping bottles when we don't drink alcohol because we're extra period so i grabbed this de-alcoholized bottle of bubbles from woolworths and got myself some sushi to pair with that just to have a nice conclusion to my self-care day there was no way i was about to start cooking and making my clean kitchen dirty so i was like you know what let me just order some sushi on uber eats and i got myself a salmon tray and you can just see how fresh that salmon is like i still can't believe i grew up in a landlocked country and all along i thought i hated sushi whole time i just needed to go to a country with a coast so sushi's there bubbles are bubbling modern families on and that is it for myself today thank you so much for watching besties i love you guys so much i'll see you next time